Uh, my commitments are greater than my feelings in this moment. So this was something that uh, Dr. Ben Lerner, he's a co-author of a lot of books that I sell, um, guy who was my coach a few years ago uh, for a while, my practice coach. Um, this guy, he said this a long time ago, and I've used it for years now. My commitments are greater than my feelings in or at this moment. This is something to really get caught up in. If you're somebody who says, there's just no way, I don't think I can do this diet at all. If you can get caught up in that phrase, my commitments are greater than my feelings in this moment. If you can bring that phrase out, whenever you're pressed with some temptation of any type, it will help you. Not just food, any type. Think about that. Any situation you're in, my commitments are greater than my feelings in this moment. It helps to, to, to make yourself look weak to yourself if you step forward. And if you make yourself look weak to yourself if you make that step, you will choose not to most of the time. You will choose not to. You say, I don't want to be weak in the eyes of myself. I want to be strong. My commitments are greater than my feelings in this moment. What is that? That's my family's dinner last night. Grass-fed beef. So, some of the things that we're going to do to get here, clean meats. So when we say clean meats, I say grass-fed. Why do I say grass-fed? Because I care about the fat and the inflammation. So people say to me, hey, I don't, you know, I'm just, you know they, they come into my practice and we have a little question, I'll ask them, how's your diet? Oh, my diet's good. I go, oh, cool, tell me about it. And that's always my question, tell me about it, because now I can figure out if they actually know what they're talking about. So yeah, I do a good job. I eat lots of vegetables. I try to avoid you know, red meat as often as possible. You know, once in a while I have it, but I avoid it all the time. I'm like, oh really? I eat it every day. That's my response. What? What are you talking about? Oh yeah, grass fed, absolutely. Every day. Why? The problem with red meat is that the fat is all omega-6 fat because they've been eating a bunch of grain. So you got inflammatory meat because it's been eating grain, inflammatory food, it's awful, it's destructive stuff. If you go out and eat grass, that green stuff growing off the ground, they produce omega-3 fat. If it's a cow that eats nothing but grass, they will produce, they, they will produce roughly one-to-one -one ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fat. One-to-one. -one. Omega-3 being fish oil, right, that healthy fat that we should get more of, extremely anti-inflammatory. That's good stuff, right? If they're eating grain, the ratio is 20 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3. There's no omega-3 at all. I mean, it's useless. So that's important. So we want to get into clean meats. We're going to do a grass-fed co-op that we'll start talking about in two weeks. So I use a farm called Indian Creek Angus. If I buy a whole cow from them, like the whole entire thing, they're going to charge me $4.50 a pound for hanging weight, which will come up about 6 bucks a pound for that whole cow. If I buy a 16th, they're going to charge me like $5.50. Well, if I buy a 16th in the co-op, they're going to charge me $4.50. So I'm going to get the whole cow price for whatever I get. So is that a great price? It's about equal to what you see out there for ground beef. But I know that these cows eat nothing but grass forever, where if I buy it from Publix, I know that they've been fed grain for the last 90 days of their life. I don't want that. I'm back to make a six world. The other thing I do know is if I buy a quarter of a cow, I'm actually getting a whole lot of steaks that if I went to Harry's, I'd be paying 20 bucks a pound for. And those steaks are also that same $6 a pound price. Hence, you know, we eat steak a lot. Cool? We're learning. What is that? Man, that is such a cool picture. If we had good lighting and walls and all that. This is, so what does it say up top? Healthy substitutions for your favorite dishes. If you could see it, you'd say, oh, it looks good. Because it's all red sauce and what looks like a bunch of noodles. It looks like a pan of lasagna that you'd say, wow, that's lasagna. Um, anyone here Italian? I'm an Italian last name. No, no, you're not. It's a uh, Spanish last name. Any Italians here? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, come on. No one wants to admit it. So I grew up in an Italian home. My mom's Italian. Um, I ate this all the time. Not the healthy version like this one is. The unhealthy version. So Christmas dinner, there's a, like a, a turkey or a ham or something. And then on either side, there's a plate of lasagna and a plate of manicotti. That's what we have. So lasagna, that's an extremely healthy lasagna. 
what we're using for the, um, the noodles there is eggplant. So just thinly sliced eggplant on the noodles there. We can use zucchini for that. We're going to teach you how to do cool things that taste great. Pizza, I love pizza. Take a portobello mushroom, carve out a bunch of that extra mushroom in it, and use that as your crust. You'll be amazed how good that pizza tastes. Use some raw grass-fed cheese, and now you are in healthy world. Appropriate supplementation to diet. These are three things that we'll talk specifically about as we go, protein powders. Um, you know, there are more than just one out there in the world that's good. That's the one that I'm a fan of because it's got four ingredients, and that's what I want. So if we're going to supplement anything, we're going to add protein, we're going to find ways to do smoothies. That was my lunch today. My smoothie today at lunch, it had, um, it had some of this in it. So this is cultured whey. Um, basically what that means, if I took whey or yogurt, and if I cultured it, meaning I put bacteria in it, let the bacteria produce cultures, those cultures are going to, going to basically spew off fluid, and that's what this is. So all that stuff that you pour out when you open your yogurt container, that's what this is. I'm drinking what you pour out down the drain, okay? Don't pour it out. It's the most valuable thing you'll, you'll ever get out of your yogurt container, it's that. It's electrolyte rich more than coconut water. It's balanced better for your cells than coconut water with this potassium to sodium ratio. And it's extremely rich in probiotics, good bacteria, about 20 billion in this bottle right here. 20 billion. So if you're taking like two billion you know, units in a capsule, you're not doing a good job with probiotics. You should eat them in other places. Okay? So my smoothie had this. It had coconut milk. Um, it had fermented chia seeds. What is that, right? Um, it had almond butter, a bunch of kale, and then mixed berries, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, so from about a handful. That was my smoothie. It tasted awesome. It tasted just like strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. That's what it tasted like. And it was incredibly healthy, with rich in good fats, rich in probiotics, rich in uh, protein. Oh, it had that protein powder too, the vanilla protein powder. Which has what? Whey protein, grass-fed whey protein, uh, sea salt, vanilla, and stevia. Stevia, the one sweetener that we're going to give you a thumbs up on. We'll give you like an okay-ish on some sugar alcohols, but I'd much rather have you stevia. Okay? Okay. Like I said, I'll give you a kind of some, some of a thumbs up-ish on sugar alcohols, like xylitol, but I'd rather you be stevia. Okay? Malitol, mm -hmm. erythritol, xylitol, a little better, stevia, woohoo! Okay? That's where we're going to be. But I hate the taste of it. Amasi. That's a, um, that's a, that's a, a, a dairy-based beverage that's just loaded with probiotics. We'll talk about that some later on. And then Juice Plus. That's one of the supplements I'm a big fan of. Pure Pharma is what I use for my fish oil. So I stare in my, my closet. I look at three containers of Juice Plus. I look at a Pure Pharma fish oil. I look at a magnesium supplement. I look at vitamin D. And I think, okay, how was my day? How was my day? I just run through that in about... 30 seconds, and I think about my sunlight time, I think about my you know, total, I try to get 13 servings of fruits and veggies a day, 13 being the size of my hand, that's my goal. And so if I don't get 13, I take juice plus. If I don't get 10, then I take more juice plus. Um, you're like, wow, that's a lot of servings. Yeah, that's what I do. Um, if I didn't get sunlight, vitamin D. If I didn't eat a bunch of grass-fed beef or other things, like that Amasi, which also has a ton of omega-3 in it, or the chia seeds that I put in, my chia seed volume today was probably four total grams of omega-3. So if you're supplementing, you're probably supplementing maybe 2,000 milligrams, so that's two grams. I ate four for lunch. You see what I'm saying? Like, let's eat this food. Let's get in the habit of eating the healthy foods. But supplement what we have to. All right. Uh, 60 day detox. What does that mean? The Swero Cleanse. That's this. I got a little booklet on it. Um, just for you to guys read. If you want to take one of these, um, they charge me. <laughs> so. You can take one, but give me a buck at some point, okay? <laughs> um, but the Swero Cleanse, basically this is, like I said, drinking this stuff for three days and nothing else. The point of it, it's not detoxification the way we, you know, like I said, the buzzword. I'm going to go to the bathroom more. You, you'll pee a lot. Just drink it. Um, but the whole point of this, push fluid into cells, waste out. So that's electrolyte balance. And then give your digestion a rest. That's the point of it. Rest digestion. 
Let your gut take three days off. When's the last time you gave your, your gut any time off? I mean, seriously. Is there something always in it, constantly, always digesting? It's a good idea to give it some rest. It really is. Give it some rest. What's that? Oh, look at that awesome question. She's, do I have, do I, is it up here or something? You just know this. Wow. Oh, it's on the thing. What's the difference? So you're reading ahead. So what's the difference between the silver and the bronze? Um, so this is the gold here. And so the gold cleanse is nothing but this, which is flavorless, calorie-less, nothingless. Well, I say flavorless. That's not really true. It tastes like the, the, the fluid from yogurt. Um, whereas the silver, it mixes in a few of the other flavors where there's some raspberry puree in and honey. So they are sweet with honey. So in those three days, you will have some sweet. So some of you will be like, yes, I want to do this because I want to get some sweet in my tongue again. But it's okay because that's all the carbohydrate you can get. So we won't have blood sugar issues. Um, but the silver, it still uses one of these a day and one green. Where the bronze, it gets into red and yellow, which are all of the citricy, citrusy, raspberry with lemon type flavors. So they all taste good to most people. Where this, 90% of you would probably start to heave if you, if you drank it. I mean, you would. Most, I tell people, don't do it until you try it. And yet, all the times people say, oh, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go gold. You said gold's the best one. I'm doing gold. And they come back a day later, and they've got, um, it's 18 that come in a kit, and they've got 17 they want to return to me. I'm like, I told you, all I'm going to have is a fridge full of this stuff for me. Maybe I didn't need it right now, but all right, I'll take it back. So, um, detox living, stripping the toxins. This, um, this one here. I have a detox workshop we're doing, and some of you might choose to do an add-on where you actually test your hair. And if you choose to do that, then you'll do this separate workshop as well. And we'll talk a bit more about glutathione there. Otherwise, you won't hear me talk about glutathione. But that's your hormone that detoxifies you. That's the primary detoxifying hormone in your body. And it's the one that strips stuff that's deeply rooted in your nervous system. So like metals uh, such as mercury, uh, arsenic, aluminum, lead, those guys, it takes glutathione to get them out. So when we test that, when we test hair, what we're actually testing, we're testing how well you excrete these toxins. We're not actually testing how much you have because we can't tell. I can only tell how much you excrete. And so a lot of times I'll take someone and they go through and they start doing glutathione precursors and we retest them three months later and they're thinking, all right, my level's gonna be super low now. And instead it's really high because now they're detoxifying a ton of it. So it's just showing up more. Like, well, the good news is, you were actually keeping it all in your body before, and now you're kicking it out. The bad news is, I don't know how long it's going to last before it actually levels out. You know, we don't really know how big the stockpile is. We just don't know that. So, can't measure it. All right, so that's what it says down there at the bottom. Next picture. So that's the detox system here that builds the glutathione precursors. That's that guy. And there's that. This is one of the flavors. It's a green. It looks yellow there, but the green that people don't like. <laughs> They don't like this, they don't like green. They like the others. My wife and I, we like green and this one the best. So, go figure. This is the only one with no honey at all. No sugar, no nothing. Nothing. Just cultured way. That's it. Maybe I'll keep some up and you guys can sniff it later. Don't throw up in my bottle if you sniff it. Exercise plan. Six-day exercise. CrossFit-based exercise. I'm always going to push this. I've been doing it for seven and a half years. I know it's the best, period. I know it is. Um, insanity, great. You're doing a fantastic little tiny stepping stone to getting it right, seriously. You know, P90X, yeah, it's a little tiny stepping stone to getting it right. Sadly, those guys have always had this thing where they have to sell you more time to make it worth anything, so they want you to work out for an hour. I'm gonna pull all of you down from hour workouts. You can still do some, that's fine, here and there. I, I, that's okay, you can have your running, every you whatever. But I'm going to try to get everyone, and whether it be in a CrossFit gym or not, I'm going to have everyone doing short, intense workouts. And intense to me and intense to you are completely different, right? So your intensity is your intensity. My intensity is my intensity. So I had PR'd my 100 pull-ups at 420. I was very pleased with that. So that's what I did before the other stuff. You don't have to. Absolutely. I do it all. Are you going to be exercising? Uh, we'll find out. First time around, maybe not. Second time around, 
probably. But you know, I exercise every Friday on a pretty empty stomach. So I'm used to that. I do a lot. Um, all right, the hormonal stuff here. So we talked about insulin and leptin briefly here with our diet, right? You're going to have an increased sensitivity to this by increasing your intense exercise. It's this interesting thing that happens with intensity. Your hormone levels fall into balance better. Really quick, on the leptin too, so just because I have a room primarily with women. Um, your leptin, it used to be that you could only test leptin if you tested a fertility panel. It was the only way to test it. Why? Because it's the master hormone in controlling the relationship between your estrogen and your progesterone. And your luteinizing, and your follicle stimulating. Primarily estrogen and progesterone. So if you happen to be a woman who's approaching that period of your life, and you think, huh, I gotta figure something out. Get your leptin perfect, and you won't have to figure anything out. It'll all be figured out for you. This diet and exercise intensely. If you want to know if it's perfect, then we'll test it. Yep. Getting through this? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you're probably done. You could be. So went through the worst ones ever getting through this. So my wife last year did it for ten, no, eight months, eight months, straight the diet, the advanced plan diet, where she had done it many times before for like forty days, sixty days, maybe even you know, closer to eighty days once. And I finally convinced her. I said, you know, what? you should really just do this as long as it takes, because she wanted their stubborn inflammation, and she wanted gone. She did it. She's like, wow, can't believe it worked. Because <laughs> you just thought 60 days would be enough, right? That's short term. That is so short term. You're, you're a product of a lifetime. You're Really, you got to think about that. You're a product of a lifetime. You're going to change it all in 60 days. You're not going to fix everything in 60 days. Short term. All right. Um, testosterone, that goes up with intense exercise. You women, you need it important for you. You need that. You don't need as much as me, but you need it. It goes up with intense exercise. And growth hormone. That drives healing. It drives healing. If you want to heal, you want more growth hormone. Naturally. Not injected. That's ridiculous. All right. Get into a CrossFit gym if you aren't. That's my daughter, Brooke, there, doing, um, doing some front squats with a 15-pound barbell. Um, so she competed last year in a competition called Garage Games 1. Went out in front of 1,000, 2,000, actually 3,000 people, I think, total. And competed. It's pretty cool. She said it's the best day of her life. Um, so yeah, what we have for you is that add-on that some of you saw already, that if you, if you haven't been in, you want to be in, um, 49 bucks, and that gives you, basically it's 10 classes. It's, it's fundamentals classes here, all fundamentals, um, or here or Town Lake. At silos, um, which is also part of this thing, CrossFit Silos in Milton, it gets you into um, 10 classes that are going to be one fundamentals class and then a bunch of regular classes. Uh, and then over at CrossFit Bridge Mill, which also this is involved, that 49 bucks gets you uh, 10 classes, which would be one uh, intro class and then all regular classes after that. So if you're somebody who says, well, I'm scared, I don't really know, uh, this would be the best place for you here because you're going to be in a fundamentals class, meeting other people who are brand new and just that for the entire time. So we're a little more put together that way in this gym than we are in those other ones. So you want to try it out? 49 bucks, there you go. Here's your good month of uh, activity.